Valerie Harper. She continues to do it all, stage, screen, television. She's received a, a great amount of acclaim for all of it. She's a four-time Emmy winner, just during her years portraying Rhoda Morgenstern. On the Mary Tyler Moore Show in Rhoda, she received the Golden Globe Award, Harvard University Hasty Pudding Woman of the Year Award, Hollywood Women's Press Club Golden Apple Award, and a Photoplay Gold Medal as well. Most recently, she's completed an across-country tour of Golda's Balcony, portraying the legendary Golda Meir. The film version, just completed, has been called Compelling, A Tribute, and An Embrace. With us today, Valerie Harper. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Pacific Pioneer Broadcasters for, for being, for uh, holding the Edward R. Murrow <laughs> gauntlet high, and other maybe, you know, earlier people. I remember Gabriel Heater and uh, many other people who were your forebears. So thanks for doing the work you do, and thank you for honoring this marvelous guy, this wonderful heart of my heart's a uh, longtime pal. and. Uh, fellow traveler, <laughs> which meant something else years ago, but now it really means we're on the road together. Um, I really wanted to uh, allude to something that uh, Daryl brought up. He said, Good Friday. This is Good Friday, and with the indulgence of the Catholics and the Protestants too, to some degree, but Catholics make a real big deal of it. I was a member of both groups, so I can say this, but this Good Friday is a perfect day to honor this very, very good man. And uh, his uh, career aside, you've heard so much about it, the longevity of it and the quality of it, uh, just, you know, there's just, he's a non pare. Um, but Ed and I met uh, at the lunch area, the craft service table, uh, the first reading of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. And he was warm and dear and welcoming and I, I, was so happy to be in the presence of such wonderful actors. Um, Ed also, during that first year of Mary, he's the one who said, he's, a, he's really more than anything a seed planter, I think, beyond his four beautiful children. <laughs> um, I mean, in, in each of us, a possibility of doing more than what we're doing, uh, because he really does feel, he experiences the truth, which is we are, part of a larger family. He goes beyond his family, or the family of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, or the family of Lou Grant, or the family of any work situation. We have all kinds of families. But he really gets it that he's a human being directly co connected to the El Salvadorian, the Iraqi, the uh, Panamanian, the Canadian, whatever, anywhere in Africa. He really knows that our common humanity is what is what's important, and he responds to that. And that first year, I remember him saying, hey, um, want to come to a SAG meeting? Screen Actors Guild? Uh, and no, no, not to. Then a few, uh, um, there's one tonight, Val. He'd ask everyone. This one went, I did. And it took a few decades, but uh, in 2000, I was elected to the board of Screen Actors Guild, and I've been there ever since. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> No, 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 really. And we've worked together on political campaigns. I've not acted with him since, um, uh, since the wonderful Mary show, but I have worked with him constantly on all kinds of endeavors, be it on presidential politics or a local race in West Hollywood where uh, someone uh, very, very worthy was running for office. So I just wanted to uh, say thank you for having us. It was great to be able to be back with the gang. It's great to see Betty and Charlotte Ray and, and darling Arthur Heller, one of the great American directors of all time. It's true, don't nod your head. You're just like Ed. <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna say is Ed has this incredible quality of, um, it's like Kiev meets Kansas. It's this rabbinical wisdom and a embrasure of all people. And then this kind of Gary Cooper, 
Jimmy Stewart, soft, smiling, toe in the dirt, self-effacing. Uh, the last thing I want to just leave you with is an image. He used to come in uh, after running sometimes late, wanted to get in his workout, and he'd wear a gray cutoff t uh, sweatshirt, a little wet around the neck here. And he said, oh, listen, before we start, you got to look at our my shell collection. And Mary and I were like looking over his shoulder, and he's got these teeny, weeny, delicate, gorgeous little shells, and they're all spread out. Here's this hulking... Bovan, is that the word? This really incredibly built, wonderful, masculine guy. Gruff, we've heard about the gruff. Laying out these immaculate, exquisite shells. A God's creation. He is God's creation. And Mary and I were quelling, these two non-Jewish girls, were quelling at the soft, beautiful spirit of this lovely man that I absolutely adore and I wish someday to become. <laughs> He is my hero, and I love him. So uh, thank you all for honoring him with me today. Thanks. It is my pleasure, finally, to give the easiest introduction I've ever had to give. Mary Tyler Moore. Thank you very, very much. And just for the record, I am 1 16th Jewish. Do not forget it. <clears throat> when Ed first came in and, uh, and was kind enough to read for the part of Lou Grant, he was brilliant. He had every nuance that anybody could ever dream of down pat. And we knew we had everything we, we needed for this show to be a success. And then came the dress rehearsal, which we filmed um, the night before the actual filming. And he was awful. <laughs> he had gone back to his dramatic background, ignoring all of the wonderful comedy that existed in this, uh, in this script. And um, after the first scene, he came back and he said, may I do this over again? And everybody said, oh, yes. <laughs> and he knocked us dead. He was so fabulous. He used to, he made me work so hard to be in a scene with him and to try to match the levels, the degrees, the shadings of his performances. They were always um, unreachable and yet there in the offing. He, um, he touched me deeply. He was great. I, um, I have one quick story to tell about him, and he doesn't even know this story. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. The last uh, week of the filming of our dear series, um, everything was in chaos, you know. There were boxes going in and boxes going out, and with the dressing rooms were getting mixed up. And on one afternoon, I opened what I thought was my dressing room, and it wasn't, it was Ed's. And he was just getting out of the shower. <laughs> I don't know this one either. And I know that his enormous gifts do not end in front of the camera. Thanks for joining us. You know, I can already feel the excitement building for our next Hollywood Media Professional Celebrity Showcase.